So you may already know that image upscalers and enhancers can change our images from this to this. But there are plenty of other things we can do with these image upscalers to improve our images. So I'm going to show you that today. I'm going to be using Magnifique today, but there are plenty of other tools out there and some of them also come with free versions. So to begin with, all you need to do is drag and drop your image in here. We're going to scale it up by two. We're going to optimize it for film and photography. My prompt is a cabin in the woods. And then our creativity, we've got to two. And the creativity lets it add new elements and details. The HDR sharpens these details. The resemblance is how close it's going to match to the original image. And the fractality is going to add details based on our input. The engine, I like to use Magnifique Sharpie. You can see what they all do here. Um, but this one's for realistic images like photographs. Then you hit upscale and you're going to get an image like this. And I use the same settings on this image so you can see the before and after here. And what you can do is if you go in and you check out what's happening, you can always add a mask with a brush and we can get rid of stuff like this rat, for example. Um, and anything that you don't like, you just go in and brush those out. But what I want to do now is actually add some life to this image. So we're going to use Gen Fill and then we're going to run it through Magnifique to upscale it. So first thing, let's add a man walking away. And we'll hit gem fill. And we've got a few options here. That guy looks pretty cool. Let's generate some more and see what we get. So I like this guy, um, you're not going to nail it first time without Gen Phil, but he does look a bit big for the scene. Uh, he looked a bit small, so I'll just scale him up a bit. Um, and then I want to select subject, but to do that, I'm just going to uh, flatten that layer and then select subject. And he has been selected and then we can mask him out. Um, he's going to need grounding as well, so let's... On that mask, I'm just going to bring back a little bit of that ground in. But that looks pretty good to me. And then at least we can move him around uh, into position if we want. But it's pretty cool there. And another thing I'm going to do is add a dog. So let's write dog and let that generate. Again, you're not going to nail that first time. You can see all the iterations I went through here. But I quite like this guy. Um, I'm just going to mask out. this little bit as well um, want to keep that in but that is all looking pretty cool so I'm going to hide the background uh, layers and just save this as an image then we will add that and we'll keep the same we've got a man and a dog and we'll hit upscale whilst we wait for that to generate these optimized for, I rendered out each one and you can download it as a PDF so you don't have to test them all out. You can just look through this uh, PDF. You'll find that download in the resources. All right, this guy is done. So here's our before and here's our after. And that is a vast improvement. Look at them hands, they work. Um, dog looks great. All right, let's download this, get it as a PNG and then we'll bring it into Photoshop. So I drag and drop him on. Uh, let's position it. We can hide these layers now. We'll bring in the background. And if we select subject, we can mask these guys in. And then we'll zoom in a bit. And then all we need to do is just mask out some of these areas and make sure they sit nicely. And that's how we can add people to our exterior renders. And then using the same settings, I've run through the interiors so we can see the difference it's made here. And as usual, you can go in with a brush and get rid of any uh, discrepancies like here. And another cool thing we can do is this is um, the Magnifique version. And you can see that it's created a lot of artifacts. And because we've rendered out masks, we can actually select the areas we want to keep. So if I select our mask 
and then just select our ground. I like the rug and the floor, so I'll select that, and the bed looks really nice in this version, but everything else I don't really like. So then I can just mask using our mask layer, and you can see how that's improved the image, and the same on this one. This is what came back. There's quite a lot of artifacts all over here, so I wanna keep the bed and the rug and I'll mask that to keep them in. And you can see what that's done. And then you can always go in as well with a brush and then just brush in some of the details that you do wanna keep. And then another use for this is using 3D people. For example, uh, people from Cosmos, but they're not exactly high detailed. So what we can do is run it through Magnifique. And again, using one of our masks, we can actually just mask these in straight away. Um, and then you're gonna end up with much better people.